Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I thought I would talk a little bit about my reading approach. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how I treat my TBR, how I choose what books I'm going to read, how I rate my books, and also how I DNF my books. So first, my TBR list. I have a couple of different formats of my TBR list. So the first is my physical books. I try not to buy physical books. My husband and I have kind of gotten off of that, except for maybe graphic novels. We do buy some graphic novels, but I do still have many things physical left on my shelf that are waiting to be read. Some of them are, you know, a year or two old. Some of them are maybe 10 or 15 years old. So I have been trying for the past couple of years to make some dents in that list, but there are still some old things. Luckily, I am not buying new books. Um, the only books that I buy are things that I really, really want a physical copy of and I immediately read. Uh, the other type of list, TBR list, that I own is digital books. So I do have a number of ebooks, and again, this is something that I'm not actively buying, but I have a number of books that either my husband has given me as gifts, or we bought a while back, or I bought for him uh, as a gift, and because we have a, a family account, I can read his books as well. Um, so those books are also sitting around waiting for me to read them when I get around to them. The last kind of TBR that I have is with my library. So I extensively use the Libby app and it allows me to tag books. So I have a lot of books tagged. I've only been using Libby for maybe a year, maybe a year and a half, but I have been tagging so many books. So every time I hear about something on Reddit, the subreddit 52 books or on booktube that really strikes my interest, I go ahead and I find it on Libby and I tag it. And I've got two levels of tags. So one level is just, huh, I heard about this, it sounds interesting. And the other level is, wow, this sounds amazing and I can't wait to read it. And that's kind of my very interested priority Q tag. So I've got maybe about 350 books on my generally interested list right now. And I've got about 80, 85 books on my priority queue. So when I go and choose a book, I choose from these lists. Now onto how I choose my reads. So all of the books that I choose to read are coming from one of these three TBR lists. However, how I choose which book I'm gonna read next is almost completely up to my mood. So I don't like to do a TBR list of specifically what I'm gonna be reading each month or what I'm gonna be reading each quarter or even each year. I more just say I can choose anything out of any of my lists, but there might be a couple of things that are very high priority for me. Even so, almost always what I choose is based on just my mood. And in fact, I am one of those people who does not like to read one book at a time. I like to read multiple books at a time so that depending on my mood, I can pick up one or another book. And I am particularly bad about this and that I often have something on the order of 20 books going at the same time. I know that sounds like a ton of books and I guess it is, but I just sometimes take a really long time to read a particular book or I'm only in the mood for it in very specific occasions or there's a number of books that my husband and I are in the middle of. One of them, for example, is the Mahabharata, which is this epic, um, epic, epic Indian uh, mythology tale. And it is just like, I don't know, 1,500 or 2,000 pages long. We've been reading that, I think, for six years. So I don't have this feeling of, I need to finish a book before I go on to the next one. I'm constantly in the middle of multiple things, and they're almost always different types of things. So maybe I'll have a fantasy going on, a nonfiction going on, a paper book a copy for beside my bed, something on my Kindle, something on my Libby app. So I'll often just have multiple things going on, and I pick up whatever I'm in the mood for sometimes taking months or year breaks between uh, when I'm starting to read it and when I continue reading it. And that's not because I'm not enjoying it. For example, uh, the Teddy Roosevelt biography series, I had started the first book and I think it took me maybe a year to finish it. I would read a chunk of it and then I would take a couple months break and then read a chunk of it, take a couple months break. And it's not because I didn't enjoy it, I just needed to be in the mood for it. So I'm very much a mood-based reader. 
Next, on to my rating system. So I use the five star rating system, but I do give half star points. And I know that my ratings are a little bit inflated. I tend to just say however I felt about a book without really critically examining it or examining long term what it contributes to uh, literature. I, I just I just rate it based on how I feel. And uh, so I thought I would talk about what exactly my rating system means. So for me, five stars means I loved the book. I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Nothing was in there that I would change. There's nothing that was lacking. I just loved it. Uh, 4.5 stars is excellent, really good book, but there might have been like one or two little things that brought me out of the moment here and there. Four stars is very good book. It's a really solid read. I'd probably recommend it to somebody. If it's a series, I'll continue with the next book. But there were maybe a couple of issues where like maybe I didn't like the pacing or maybe some of the characters were a little annoying or something like that that just didn't get me fully engaged, but I really enjoyed it. 3.5 is pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I might, if it had something specifically good, like a very strong point about it. I might even recommend it to somebody, um, but you know, it's not going to be a favorite of mine. Three stars is, it's okay. I didn't hate the book. I didn't love the book. There were probably some issues, but it was good enough to enjoy at times and to, con to keep reading. 2.5 stars is not good. 2.5 stars means, yeah, there were some major issues with this book, um, but there was something about it that still made sense to me or spoke to me or I was interested in, and so I finished the book. Two stars is, I should have just stopped. I should have DNF'd this book. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Usually the only two stars I have on my, uh, on my reading list is things that Either I was too far into the book before I realized how bad it was or how much I didn't like it, that I thought, oh, I've only got 20 pages left or I've only got 60 pages left and finished it. Or I was reading it for some other purpose, like uh, maybe it was something that somebody had recommended to me that I just, I felt I should finish, but overall, I generally wish I had DNF'd those. And anything lower than two stars just does not occur on my list because I would have DNF'd it. Oh, and if anything is a half star rating, I do round down on Goodreads. Since I know that my ratings are a little bit inflated anyway, I figure if I've given something a 4.5 stars, I should just round down to four. So all of my ratings, even though I do have points, I round down when I put it onto Goodreads. And lastly, I wanted to talk about my philosophy for DNFing. So when I read a book, I'm always focused on kind of what am I getting out of this book? How am I enjoying it? Or what am I learning from it? Or what is it making me think about? But if I find that I am not enjoying a book, I often stop connecting with it and I, I get just annoyed and I start judging it rather than thinking about it, which is not the same thing. Uh, it's okay to read critically and to consider are there other viewpoints or uh, are there issues that this is addressing or not addressing, but once I start to dislike a book, I think that I'm not very open-minded. So my opinion on DNFing is that I'll just DNF anything. It doesn't matter. There have been books that I'm, you know, 60, 70% of the way through and I'll just DNF. I'll just stop reading and say, I'm never picking this up again because I'm just not enjoying it. I'm not able to connect. I'm not able to get anything out of it. Um, I think that part of the reason I do this is I had joined a book club a couple of years ago and I kept trying to read the books that were chosen by the book club even when I really wasn't liking them. And at that point, I had never done that before. I had never just continued to read things that I didn't like because I only picked up things that I liked. But that was my first foray into trying to read more widely. And so I thought maybe this is just part of the process of reading more widely. Um, and I struggled through it for about a year. And I finished a lot of books that really left a bad taste in my mouth. And then I had a couple of conversations with some friends of mine who are very into books and realized that no, no, that's not, that's not really that useful. I don't think that I gained anything from those books that I finished other than a bit of regret. 
a bit of bitterness that I finished that and I now have that memory of the dislike and um, dissatisfaction of continuing to read those books. So since then I have been very strict with just DNFing something when, when I realize that it's just not working for me, especially because my TBR list has grown so big since I started um, subscribing to 52 books on Reddit and to a lot of different channels on booktube i've got so many recommendations from all of these amazing people of great reads that they've had that i want to find time to read so it just feels like such a waste to spend any time on a book that is not worthwhile because i could be reading something better and even if it's an interesting topic or something i want to experience more there's so many authors out there and so many books out there i can get it in another format in a way that i can connect to it so my theory with DNF is if I'm not connecting to it, I'm not going to be receptive to its ideas and I should just stop. If I ever change my line later, I can always come back to it. But generally speaking, I don't think I've ever come back to anything I've DNF'd. So really it's more find a different book. So that is my philosophy on DNFs and my approach to reading and rating and TBRs. If you guys have videos where you discuss how you approach uh, reading and, and TBRs and anything like that, I would be very interested. It's always curious to see how everybody frames things. I know, for example, most people don't do the reading 20 books at a time thing like I do, but it's really neat to see what other people do and sometimes get inspired and try new things.